videos, and I don't have good videos. I'm boring. I need to, like, disappear for a year, come back, and maybe I'll be interesting then and have fun videos to watch. Let me see what I have. In the meantime, while I find a video, you guys enjoy with this. Um... Did this one. This one's good. Yeah, bro, I got nothing. I got, I got battle bots. Go watch like two robots fucking duke it out in the ring. Is that what you want? I got nothing else. What did you guys think this was? What's it eating? I don't know. It looks like brain. Little egg yolk. There's some salt, pepper, seasoning, of course. What the fuck did you guys think this was, if not cats eating? You guys are fucking weird. You're all going to hell. Did you know that? Literally all of you. Spinner's got a lethal amount of Norse power. It's Valkyrie! It's Valkyrie! Bro, I want to be like a, what do they call that guy? The hype man? Shoutcaster? It's Valkyrie! And in the left corner! Weighing in at 6 pounds! 14 pure raw sheets of... I don't know what metal they use. <laughs> Oh shit. RPV. Oh! Triple crown! Damn, that thing is big! Who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for Valkyrie or Triple Crown? Wow, look at that thing. That's big, Bro, there's big, no way Triple Crown loses. Sure is. Looks like a lot of complexity there, Chris. Really interested to see how. This is gonna be the most one-sided, brutal beatdown I've ever seen in my life. By the see way, how tiny you Valkyrie was? It's supposed to be a. It's gonna be a whole total weight difference. <laughs> triple Crown looks like the world's. Triple Crown will literally just sit on Valkyrie, and it's over. <laughs> yeah, it's a glorified fidget spinner. Their bot looks like a well, fucking parenthesis. There's no way they win versus the fidget spinner. Volano, thank you for the prime. Hope you enjoy your first month. Yeah, look at it. It's a moving parenthesis. Did they ever think about turning the mics up and maybe turning the crowd down for some better audio? I have no idea what old man is saying, but he's spitting. Like I have 3D glasses on his cowboy hat? What you can expect Bro, he can see 3D IRL. Is, uh, how can I put it? Disaster. Oh. 
Robots, activate. Robots, activate! We have never seen anything like this here at BattleBots. Unbelievable design. You see the wedge there on one side. They have a horizontal spinner. I want to stick my foot in the little spinny thing. Why is everyone middle age? I don't know. When you get to this age, you just get bored. You just try shit. Apparently, you build robots that duke it out in a ring. This is some shit the robotics kids would do. You guys ever have robotics class in your school? We had it in our middle school, and this is literally what they would do, I'm pretty sure. They'd build robots to do shit. Valkyrie looking to get their first win of the season. Triple Wait, they're Brown fucking- they haven't won yet? Oh, Valkyrie's Here doomed. Valkyrie fucking blows, dude. Hasn't got a single win. I want one of the bots to just grow an arm and punch the other one in the throat. Wow. Oh! A left hook from the parentheses! Bro, parentheses got moves. Oh! Wait, is Triple Crown dead? Is that... Huh? What? Yo, get, yo, get, get, get up! Get, get up! What? Huh? He's teabagging! What? And we have a winner! Are you kidding me? He got fucking spawn camped! He sucks ass! Oh my god, I can't believe I bet on fucking Triple Crown. Well, it was chopped off for pretty quickly. <laughs> Valkyrie with that what devastating a... weapon, that blade called Glory, uh, went right for that wedge right away. And I think what a fucking shitter match. The wheel system there as well. We, you didn't see it move after that. Yeah, it was basically Actual shitter match. Alright, Top, what was your video? And triple crown oh, what a terrible was fight. Done. That was an awful video, awful fight, rather. Good night, Sleepy. Good night, Emperor. Tap it's, it's way sucks. good, man. It's a vibe. I love the fact that like a lot of up and coming brands You're can banned. connect with established brands and then um, sell products and pay their phone bill. Okay, what about the culture? Love the culture. The culture is the culture. The culture runs the world right now. I feel like you are the culture. In some ways, but being humble is also extremely the move right now. It's bit me in the ass previously when I haven't been as humble, so I'm gonna just humble it for the rest of my life now. How? People get um, intimidated by confidence and success. So help people and be humble, and then you'll survive this crazy world that is life. Are you guys intimidated by success? I love I, I love the awkward silence. If when you get interviewed by a, a wavy production crew like yourself, you look create a lot of awkward silences, so it exposes the real personality of individuals. I love that shit. Yeah. It's fucking what the wavy. Fuck did I just hear? Lamborghini lifestyle, baby. Money talk, baby. The homie Kanye <laughs> just left. You know what it is with Drake. That's Aubrey to me. I'm on some Lamborghini shit. Lamborghini yeah. bitch with hey. the Lamborghini door. So yeah. Green, green whips. <laughs> Okay. People said we wouldn't be shit. Yeah. You ever seen a Lambo bought with twenty dollars in reparations? Uhuru Lamborghini, baby. Goddamn, bah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so goddamn, bah. Goddamn, bah. Goddamn, bah. Goddamn, bah. That line long, bah. Goddamn, bah. Shit, bah. I ain't went inside, right? Yeah. That ain't got me awful out of that, uh, that right there, right? Dang. Okay, got that on, right? Uh, and I put that on top of the, uh, yeah. Uh, so I was in there yeah. showing them all my spectacular drip. My man said, call my sailor device. So, bam. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> so, you know, uh, got the wristband for my mans and then acquired that. Uh, took that there. Uh, put it on my man. Right here. Uh, no man left behind. You okay. feel me? Let go. My boy's a real one, bro. Goddamn, bye. It's a fellow friend of yours. Goddamn, bye. That's a trapper. <laughs> that's not my friend. Trappers are not friends. They are associates and business partners. Okay, and sometimes co-defendants, but it's not yes. if you're doing it business. right. Friends go funny. A trapper, he bought that money. <laughs> Goddamn, boy. Sheep. What are you going to do when you get back to that? Give me some food and give it to you because you look hungry. <laughs> Goddamn, boy. I like how he's just sticking the mic in his throat the whole time. Wave check. Take your hat off. Let me see your awkward. He ain't got none. Wave check. You hear that? That's Remember the NPC theory I was talking about like uh, 20 minutes ago? What are you guys getting from this guy? NPC? Main character? Dude. There's no shot. These people are not sure. real. That's like white noise right there. Look. Shh. 
what they say, ASR, whatever that shit is, that acronym, y'all know <laughs> what it is, I don't, I, don't, I don't care, I don't watch it. Okay, so hat is fresh, New York, advisor, yeah! LA. We got Soldier shirt, 76 out bin. here. Uh, these are like 10 years old from South Florida, and these are from LA. Your whole shit's dripped out. Thanks, bro. Uh, my Optional name is Survivor side Man, spelled like server, S-E-R-V-I-V-E-R, -E -E uh, an Anon artist that's doing some NFT stuff. What's the most you ever made off an NFT? Uh, I, have a, I have a V friend that I bought on the first day, so that's worth like 10. Bro, why is he wearing a fishbowl? How much money is that? Like $40,000. What the heck is an NFT? So an NFT is a non-fungible token. Uh -huh. And it's basically a fancy word for digital art. And digital art is wow. changing now because mm -hmm. you can actually own it. And it's all about being written onto the blockchain. And so now digital art can live on permanently forever. I don't know how many sort of wow. uh, did pick million dollars, I swear to God. Really? I swear to God, bro, last week the homie hit for like a mil sum on a dick pic NFT. I don't know like the exact dick details pick of who NFT? sent it or whatever, but yeah, he got a million dollars for a dick pic NFT. Who purchased the NFT? It's, I, don't, I don't know, anonymous, you know what I mean? Maybe it is, I don't know, he, maybe, he probably do know. For a million dollars, you gotta know who sold it, you know what I mean? NFTs and Gary V counting. Look at my NFT. Non-functioning testicle. Bro, you too? Damn. Jeez. Sorry for your loss. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Channel 5 Action News. We're here right now live at the Complex Con in Long Beach, California. We're going to talk to some artists, influencers, leaders, followers, networkers, marketers, rappers, fashion designers, fashion purchasers, producers, engineers, to figure out what the hell's going on and what's so complex about this con. What is a Come complex on, guys. Let's con. go. I was on No Jumper for fucking 500 guys. No, 50 guys. What's a complex in one con? Night. 500 total. Like, what is in complex? My yeah. So, for those who don't know, can you tell us your name and what you're doing out here? Hi, my name is Kazumi, and I am trying to pay rent um, by advertising my own fans. Um, you know, if you're comfortable selling your assets, just like everything else, if you have those assets, sell it. <laughs> How'd you get started doing? Oh, so my I used to have ass. A slave in college that would like let me put stuff in his dick hole. What? <laughs> How much did he pay you? Um, it was 300 at the time, but it was more of like an experience. So I just felt like this is my calling during COVID. You should do it. You should try it. Defense? Yeah, you probably look good. Okay, maybe naked. What if you did that but naked? If I interviewed people but naked? Yeah, that could be kinky. But only for Patreon. I'll subscribe. Hell yeah. Hey, Honestly, easy first subscriber. Hey, yo, Channel 5. I'm over yeah. here at Complex Con. I'm barely alive. Hey. Damn. That's sad. Trying to strive and prosper like ASAP. You got this, man. Where that AIDS at? Uh, I'm doing No Not November right now, though. I was watching um, uh, breastfeeding videos on YouTube. That's how bad it's gotten. How come you're doing No Not November? It's a, it's a big time suck, you know? Because, like, you're trying to figure out what video to watch, and then four hours later, <laughs> 100 tabs open, you're like, all right. I used to be really strong with that shit. I used to only jerk off, like, once a week. But somewhere along the way, I kind of started slipping. I remember back in the day when I was at my horniest, I, I left like Friday night church service, like the middle of worship. <laughs> I went to the um, bathroom and just fucking, you know, just sprayed that whole toilet seat down. <laughs> what? Is Kevin Bailey? Tyler Bailey. We're the Bailey twins. Bailey twins. <laughs> this video oh, is full of NPCs. They're no, all NPCs. I mean, yeah, we, we are just so close to not the clown. We're waiting for so. y'all to catch up at this point. Uh, what's the biggest difference between y'all? You can't female. tell me any I'm more, more on real. The side, I would say. And he's more on the petite or slim. Thing. They're not no, real. No, I'm like, throw back Nobody on. acts like this. What's up, dude? What's good, G? How are you doing? This is my twin tabbing right here, right? All right. right. Well, I'll just finish this one over here since he just left me over there, guys. But uh, yeah, any other questions? Bro, stop. I don't know what's going on. Mad gummies. What are we talking about over here? What's going on, man? Stand your interview. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand your interview. Stand. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll talk. All right. Anyway, so I don't know who's doing. So, what, what the fuck, fuck is going on? Oh, and shoes, so, how nice these were. I'm, I'm gonna get, get the high tops tomorrow. tomorrow. So, them shit is even crazier. Oh, the ones with the teeth. Right? Four eyes, teeth, <laughs> uh, nose. I don't actually know what you're talking about, but I hope you get the high tops. This tomorrow. right here, I would wear. And now, Mr. Potato Seven. That's crazy. Holy shit. When I first saw it, my childhood came back to me, you know? So, I'm a kid again, you know? I got that toy Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what does it mean to drip? This right here? You see it? What is drip? Though? Work uniform, right? But would you wear these to work? Or the way I, the whole style, the whole, the, the vibe of it all, would you show it to work like this? You work at 7-Eleven? I don't. I'm a model, actor, creative with my twin right here. What's up, dog? Bro, What's I up? had seven like jobs. Of information and knowledge. Nah, I got a few things. <laughs> information I can and knowledge. Everything that's going on, both politically, 
Yeah, you know this reminds me of. Did I ever tell you? I told you guys the story of my Uber driver that one time that was on like actual drugs. Somehow driving me home flawlessly didn't like mess up at all. But guy was talking about the most crazy like space time continuum shit. That reminds me of these people. Hundred percent. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. I'm Thank still you. surprised I made it home alive that day. <laughs> oh shit! Can you? Like I had to be on mask? drugs. She got it for me, and uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, I, I like it a lot. I got two masks today. But uh, this one's my, this one's getting more. Uh... The men like it more than the girls do. Why'd you get that for him? Why not? <laughs> Was it sort of like you're not really doing this enough? Like <laughs> I'm gonna subliminal get this for messaging. You so every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're like thinking about the fact that you need to do that more often. No, I'm like he's so good at it. I'm like I want everyone to like try it. Like go. Like I say, baby, go. Get it what? Like having girls sit Yo, on his face. Yo, free use. You know, I just go I, test I, it out, Chad. Go test it. It's like a little I ride. Give it TLC, you know, that tender love and care. Do you apply that elsewhere in your life? Like, do you have a business or like a passion? Go on, Chad. Go. No business, uh, passion. Yeah, no. I Get your butthole passion. licked. Yeah, that's I always say, sit on my, come sit on my face, baby. I see you also have an interesting shirt. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? This is uh, this is from, oh, this is it. some Russian lady. Yeah, she paints water like erotic yeah. watercolors. <laughs> Up? Sit on my face! <laughs> How do you feel what the fuck is up? Sit on my face! How do you feel about eating pussy? What? Bro, I, this is so weird. Sit on my face! These people aren't real, man. I think that maybe he saw your mask and he thought that, you know, maybe he could, he could be one of the people that... I mean, if he has a pussy, yeah. <laughs> my passion is pussy, not... Or pussy eating, not uh, ass eating or whatever the fuck he has. I don't know. Dude, I respect the fucking shit out of you. What's your name? Nate. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, no. They're all in no Vegas? One. Wait, this is in Vegas? Nate Doug. Cool. Do you have any money? Yeah. How much? Not a lot. Like, how much are we talking? Like, 150. How much are the Kerwin shoes? I think, like, 180. So you can get Sounds like Dyrus. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? <laughs> uh, try to get 30 more bucks. Do you have any strategy for that? Uh, not really. <laughs> How does he have <laughs> such little energy? I have, one. I have Venmo though. I respect Great it. Even. Uh, twelfth. You almost made it. Mm-hmm. You thinking mm -hmm. you're gonna go to college or what? Uh, I'm gonna do a gap year. Are you gonna go to Europe? No. Thailand? No. You gonna get an apartment in downtown LA and just smoke Halloween? Uh, yeah. Seriously? Sure. What's your budget for an apartment? Strangely enough, he's like I the least know. NPC like. Yeah, Energy Nate Dog. I'll see you that he's room. interviewed. Yeah, so Silky basically is a part of our brand. Uh, it is basically an emotional support hey, companion almost. So they come in like different ages? Ages, sizes, skin color, different tones, different flavors, uh, different genitals. What? He, she, they, their, uh, um, uh, because we're also going to be doing ones that are uh, in wheelchairs, small people. We're doing animals. We're doing a whole silky universe. It is actually an emotional. Hey, they got animals. Shout for you guys. It's an emotional spirit. What it's the there fuck? It's to actually uplift your emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Really and truly, we're making history and her story. <laughs> Most sane right. complex con what attendee. Right <laughs> we got a rainbow. <laughs> we got a creature. You want to sit down or something? I want to have sexual intercourse with that thing. Back here, thing. back here, back here. Okay. Bro, what? With that? Bro, apply. Come on, man. At least... Which no one? It's like an animal one or what? Uh, what's going on right here? We got a rainbow. We got a creature. You want to sit down or something? Back here, back here, back here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling really loved right here. Well, you are very loved right Yo, here. Yo, Apply, you wanna go to ComplexCon next year? <laughs> oh, your dog hopped on the keyboard for a sec. Yo, would you get in a creature suit if I have a whole creature suit? Yeah, I would do that. What the fuck? <laughs> I got too much fucking shit on me. <laughs> I'm a silky now. You're a silky? Yes. You're just a blue monster, that's what you are. I'm here to fuck Silky. <laughs> I have an inquiry. Would I when get in a creature suit? Fuck yeah, that looks so comfortable. Your blue. Huh? Nah. Well. What's up, what's your name? Kevin Bradford. Uh, what are you doing here today? I'm promoting Father Steve. Okay, what's Father he Steve. We're, we're selling loot boxes, we have mice, we we have the trading card game, we have we have every we have 
everything here. I, I saw like what? like this weird stand with like dinosaurs with like butterflies on it. I thought it was kind of weird, but uh, I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was weird. I absolutely love it here. Seeing all the brands, uh, taking pictures with people, uh, pr promoting myself too. <laughs> Sounds like you're, uh, you're going up, your cloud's going up. Um, I actually uh, was on a documentary uh, called Tallest Teens. And, uh, Wait, what? I'm seven foot two. I'm the Guinness World Record holder for tallest teenager in 2016. Oh my what if God, he's so fucking tall. That, I just thought it was weird. I absolutely love it here. Seeing all the brands, uh, taking pictures with people, uh, pr promoting myself too. Oh so my like you're, uh, you're God. Going up, going up. Um, I actually uh, was on a documentary uh, called Tallest Teens. And, uh, Wait, what? I'm seven foot two. I'm the Guinness World Record holder he's for tallest teenager in 2016. What if your dream of slam dunking as a pro? I do believe that I have the potential to be in the NBA. Could be over if you continue to grow. I actually have back problems because I'm this height. Yeah, I saw the basketball court, but uh, I'm trying to stay as far away from that as possible. That's just not my, uh, that's not my style. But did you know if you like make the basket, like you'll make like 20K? 20K? She. Uh, I'm feeling kind of nervous. I believe in you, bro. I think That's you, two I think of me. I don't know, wearing a suit, that so guy is literally so far, so I don't know. almost two feet taller than me. Bro, he's just gonna reach over and like dunk it. Washed. Washed. Thank you. Washed. Toilet paper. Wipe my ass. Yo, so uh, this nice Ferris Hill. Ferris wheel uh, cannot be ridden by nobody. The old man will not let me ride it, nor anybody. It's just for show. <laughs> what? Mama always told me about that wall, about that wall. And I said, okay, ma, I just gonna cut my feet in. I saw it, oh my God! That wall, that wall. I ain't never noticed I was going deep in. <laughs> hey, what are you in line for right now? In line? I believe Mac DeMarco. The Mac DeMarco is performing in this cardboard castle? I don't have no idea. That's what I was told, so that's what I'm doing. What if he's not? Then uh, we'll see what happens, honestly. What was her name? I'm Joe. Squid. Did you come out here for this? Yeah, pretty much. Me and me and the homie did. Oh, nice. Oh, man. How you doing in school right now? I Yo. was doing pretty solid in class. And then after the switch to online, I feel like it's just harder and different. You're not cheating? Bro, they're in bed together. This is so adorable. I want to get interviewed like this. This is so cute. I've been doing this for about like, I don't know, 12 years now. So I feel a bit old. I feel a bit like an uncle now. You know what I'm saying? Feels good. It's also a bit depressing. I'm a lot older than I used to be. But also younger than I used to be. Hell yeah, partner. That's you why keep I love doing you. So philosophical. <laughs> love love the like flower. Okay, yeah, that was a good one again. <laughs> How's my favorite cat boy doing? I want to die. Let it go. Not even bigger than nine months. No, 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 it's not that vibe. It's not, it's not the vibe. Hey, what's up, Kerwin? What? What is pretty that? Good, pretty good. I'm sorry about earlier. How you doing, though? I'm, I'm actually doing great. I found this job on Craigslist. <laughs> I'm hundred with you. Uh, I'm not Kerwin Frost, as you My can man. see. My uh, man. But I'm grateful for the opportunity. This suit is hot as fuck. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on yeah. them niggas. Hey. I just gotta watch on water while me drip, pussy nigga. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on these niggas. I love Channel 5, man. I watch y'all all the time. Shouts out Channel oh, 5. Oh, shit. We, we start stuff. We don't follow shit. That's why we're leaders. I own a clump, Spider. I own a company called Fuck You Want right now. Me and my brother started that. We're about to get sent to Virginia. We're about to get sent to the Navy, you feel me? And when I was out there, we started about the company. Now we're a million dollar company. I'm doing that shit. I don't give a fuck about the cloud. Everything we're doing, I'm living it. And that's it. Hey, yo, have you seen this hair design? For real. Everywhere? Have you seen it on the internet, though? Ask everybody where they got that shit from. Tell them where it started. They're going to look at me. For, for real. I like the hair. The hair looks sick. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It used to be purple. Oh, okay, that's hard. Oh, where'd you hey, you found a clone. For the hair? Um, I don't, it was just Halloween. So, yeah, we met some dude who said he invented right. the spider. Oh, I 
know what you're talking about. I had a TikTok that blew up about my hair, and he's like, oh, this kid's a pussy. No way. I was like, I, I don't know. He's hard. They don't own that shit, but yeah, no, it's hard. My friend called me the albino it's Dennis. It's not the Rodman. worst. <laughs> Can you ball? Uh, not really. I'm working on a basketball court in uh, St. Louis. Oh, for real? Oh, I love basketball. That's a sick shirt. Where'd you uh, Where'd you get it from? My friend Austin. Ass Pizza. Ass Pizza? Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ass, Ass Pizza? pizza? Uh, he's dope. The brand name is Ass Pizza. I think like he just fucking just put it together, some shit like that, right? So. Do you like Ass Pizza? Mm-hmm. <laughs> give him a shout out. <laughs> Shout out Ass Pizza. <laughs> Who's Ass Pizza? I love I this know. guy. You just heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. Ass Pizza. Yeah. Ass is delicious. <laughs> Can you tell us about your, your face tattoo? You know, one day I just said, fuck it, man. I'm going to get the face tattoo. I didn't really think about it. I was at a point where I was just like, fuck it, man. You know, I didn't I'm gonna look like, up ass pizza. Didn't feel part of this world. So I was like, I'll just get a face tattoo, you know. And I told my mom that it was temporary. The craziest thing I ever done was not pull out. Do you have a child? I'm about to. Woo! Congratulations. That's hard, bro. I go by Holy Barber, if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't tell anyone to go get a fucking face tat, you know? It's just like, I feel like nowadays, like, you could still get a job and shit, you know? Like, I feel like no one actually really fucking cares about it, so. Yeah, I'm not a fan. All right, yeah. I gotta handle something later, but uh, it's fine. What's going on? Just this guy talking shit, man. You know, I deal with haters every not day. Not a fan of the just, ass pizza clothing brand. Fuck it. I understand, bro, you know? I know that I started a lot of this shit, you know, but I'm just a humble, nice guy, you know. I really don't. Is that they're sick though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think in a perfect world where that shit doesn't matter, face tattoos are kind of cool. I mean, I would never really get a tattoo personally, but face tattoos can look really cool, but they do kind of like just ruin your chances at a lot of jobs, just because of how the world is. What the fuck is going on? A lot of kids here that are just sort of like willing to sacrifice themselves and everyone around them to get close to people like you. How does that the make barber's you feel? doing nothing, bro. He's like, he's like, like massaging you know, his scalp and stuff, itching it. Once you get here, man, it's like that's it. You know, it's not what you think, man. You know, I just like cool shit, man, and it's like I feel like I know what's cool, you know. And yeah, it's man. Like, what I want to see. Me For and real, my man. friends, you know, I'm very grateful to have all my friends who also like, you know, are on the same wavelength, you know, like. I fuck with real shit. But yeah, I feel man. Like everything is just so For real. And, like generic and like they're just trying to market this shit to. Yeah, like, the barber is actually you know, cosmetic. I don't know. It's just He's cutting oxygen. Bullshit, man. I fuck with Kerwin shit and Steve shit. You know everything else. They're trying to make a quick. Yeah, pop, man. You know? At what point do you think a brand For goes real? from being like authentic and cool to like corny? Like For really real, bad man. Turnover point. It all just comes when like you stop thinking about like what you want to bring into the world instead of like oh what's gonna make the money, you know. If you're like making sick shit, like the money's gonna come no matter what. So it's like you can't stress over it, you know. I don't know. I just feel like people try way too hard and they just want fast. Bro, this is that one side quest term, that just has know? the most They're dialogue like, oh, ever, and you can't now. skip it or anything. Let's copy this guy and then sell this. Blah, blah, blah. It'll run you straight to the ground, man. Has anybody ever offered you like a major brand deal, like a Zoomies mall style thing? Can't skip it. Yeah, there was a uh, you know a lot of shoe brands want to work with me and shit. It's just like. First of all, there's always one person who's scared and nervous. I wonder what this tattoo is. It looks like going, Patrick hey, Starr's legs. I, I don't know. Like they a starfish legs. To trying to work with people. And what I really want to show to kids is that, like, you don't need anyone to help you, really. Like, it's interesting what you said about, like, longevity, right? Like, no matter what you do, He's a big name in the New York shootwear scene. Real? Something authentic. There's going to be people who... Respect. actually successful companies successful media I'm not a big fan of his clothes I looked at it really quick copying your exact style. I didn't say anything I like yeah, I see, but I see a lot of people copying me you know I just doesn't mean it's bad because it's like that's my goal I'm really trying to just inspire people so fuck it <laughs> you don't happen. own ass pizza and fives like, once you start calling people out you just look like a loser so I know my influence so honestly I have no idea the fuck he's saying like, you know I must be on some shit so everyone's copying me so, I think he's know, just whatever. talking to hear his voice and I respect you know? it
They're on some loser shit. I peep it, bro. I know who's copying you. They're trying to exploit New York. Fuck them, bro. Fuck them. Yeah, em. fuck them. What are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about, bro. We don't even got to say their name. How did you react when you first saw someone just copying your shit? You know, it's cool. It's, it's cool. cool. We're influencers, it's cool, man. <laughs> We're influencers, bro. <laughs> That's where we get free shit for, man. Free sandwiches. <laughs> right? so That's where cool. we get free sandwiches. Lions don't. We're influencers, bro. With, uh, <laughs> you gotta wake up and stay hungry like a fucking tiger every day, bro. A army of sheep led by a lion will destroy an army of lions led by a sheep. The leader is the most important thing. How do you feel about people stealing your haircut style? True. I don't True. Care. As Holy as, fuck. I do my best, that's what matters. Tommy Wright the third. Ten wanted me into the world end. Street smart, a lot of power. Devil Don Tom. Yo. Internet icon. So back in the old music, you talk a lot about the devil and Satan. How many people were like really worshiping the devil associated with Memphis music at that time? It's like a lot of, it's not devil worshiping, but it's a lot of evil shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of evil spirits. Cutthroat huh? city, cutthroat mentality. That's what Memphis is about. How did Memphis change like from that old school style to what it is now? Because if you think about like Memphis new artists, right? Like Push Tysty and L.A. Chaba, it's more like Atlanta sound, like modern trap. Like when did the uh, like 3-6 Tommy Wright shit kind of like transition? Why do I always get a stream notification that says meow meow and some horny shit? How do I stop that? Bro, what is horny in this? What's horny in my go live notification? There's nothing horny there. It's just meow meow oo oo x3 colon 3c and then me maniacally laughing. You know, mimic our sound, you know. Where's the horny? A lot of shit started to change. And then our city just tried to be more, Good night, Dustin. you know, universal with their sound. You had that crazy peak Oh, is the, the 90s, colon 3 a little too far? It seems like your, your career is that horny? Ever right now. Like you have more fans than of all time. How did that happen? Like, how did you pop off like 10 or 15 years after the songs first came out? Let's say what it is, man. Soundtracks. I see that. What are you talking about? The sample. Like your shows in New Orleans is like 150 skaters, all that shit, like moshing. Did you, did you ever imagine when you first made those songs back in the day that that? Uh, you know, nah. You know, I, I never thought that. But you know what? You get horny feeling. This might like be personal. And that's what we do, cause we got that. You same might be energy, one of a kind. Special even. We did that shit without a skateboard. <laughs> My name is Guapdad4000. I'm a fan of yours. Oh, yeah, I just shit. watched some shit that you did. Guapdad4000. Jeezy was in it. Yeah. I was on my ass laughing the whole time. He's queuing on. And you niggas is hilarious. Dude, this guy has this fashion. Crazy. Do you wear a bad suit on purpose? Uh, yeah. I figured. Where are you getting? I figured. From? Goodwill. I figured. <laughs> you gotta watch out for mothballs, man. Mothballs? Mm -hmm. They be doing. They be using them in Goodwill for real. Yeah. Why is it dangerous to have mothballs in your clothes? I said just watch out for him. I didn't necessarily merit any danger. I'm sorry if you <laughs> felt that from my tone, King. Am I didn't. I being too aggressive? No, I don't think so. Damn it. Well, stop doing that. Huh? Did you cop any cops today? <laughs> um, what did I actually spend money on? Oh, did I bought some shoes. I love this guy. I like your music. Thank you. I like my music too. I like your music. I like your confidence. I like. It your seems so fun. From without the music, I follow your stuff. Thank you. It's it's ill. What's your name, dog? Kosha Dills. Tight. I'm running a marathon tomorrow. Oh, that's why you got the whole shit going on. Well, <laughs> is it a purpose? Um, I'm coming off of a, a big run off of rapping with Fat Joe in a rainstorm, and I felt that oh, internet. Oh, nigga, I've been seeing you. <laughs> I've been seeing you. I damn near follow you. Yo. Wait, is this in New York? Where is this? You nigga, you still got the umbrella? <laughs> Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Check it out, all right. Beatbox, rap and fly like I have to guy. I use five hands on my finger, channel five. Do you know my rap flow? Do you know why I'm holding umbrella? It's me mimicking what happened last week at MSG with Fat Joe. I was rapping in a rainstorm. He's like, hey, bro, can I rap with you? I'm like, okay, dog, but you need an umbrella because you don't want to get real wet. I used to have hair on my head. It was impossible. Back in the day, they filled the microphone with follicles. I do it okay. on the fast track, right through the pass yeah. track. And other people say, yeah, what's the cash app? So send Bar money now. Bar don't act so funny now and channel five i hope you guys like my fucking style and if you don't have any money yeah, to yeah. Borrow, send a cash app to someone else and i'll see you guys tomorrow cash app oh. the best subject to incorporate into your freestyle rhyme scheme to impress people who went to the complex con last a few months ago what 
uh, use code channel five for a free fifteen dollars for oh, new shit. users. I'm gonna have, uh, I love the ad play. He's funny. To music while I run, put you on my marathon playlist. Thank you. How many miles is the total marathon? Twenty six point two. Why would so? But you still ain't say it. Why? I think I think you need to have certain different kinds of music. Like in the beginning, you don't want to be too no, gassed. Not up. about music. Why is you running for 26 miles? <laughs> I, I love I love running, man. It's like a journey in life. So life much is a marathon. You need 26 miles. Of it. <laughs> yeah, you need more, really. Seems I was a little bit excessive. <laughs> Channel Five. Love y'all. I love Guap Dad. I haven't seen this man in probably four years. Four years, but old friends. Been a minute. He's like, who the house. fuck is this guy? We, we go way back with a guy named Tom Catchison. <laughs> who is this guy? Tom Catchison? I don't know who he's talking yes. about. Uh, me and Tom Catchison uh, played on the high school soccer team. As he's I actually think, making shit up now. He, we went to Edison High School together. He has no and, idea. And Herbert Hoover Middle School. M me and Tom, uh, we were. He's playing off of it. They're like uh, RPing right now. A rock concert. Oh, me and Tom? Yeah, 311. Yeah, I know Tom. Amber, Amber, Amber is the color of your inner dream. The earth isn't flat, but it's hollow. And inside the uh, hollow earth, there's like giant octopus. I believe that there's water above and below us, and it's giant octopus. I believe in that shit. How'd you learn about the octopus in the earth? I was on acid one day, and I uh. thought about it, and I was like, if you watch The Matrix, the robots is octopus. And then I realized that the earth is more water than anything. How can we get in touch with the. Hold octopus? on, hear him out. Hear him out, like guys. Third eye and meditate. Hold on. Um, Before you question, Mark. I, I tell everybody, don't get the vaccine. Well. Okay. It makes it we don't to have to hear him out anymore. <laughs> Good one. Uh. <laughs> Just <answer. laughs> Good one. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bed. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be on tomorrow, maybe. Good night. Beef Squares, thank you for the 29 months. Wow. See you guys next time. I don't know when I'll stream again. I don't really know what games I feel like playing. Maybe we'll do Overwatch tomorrow or some shit. I don't know. Whee! I'm gonna go on a journey. Discover myself. Once I finger myself out, I'll let you guys know. Goodbye.